Well, here we are, first day of the 10,000 Islands trip, January 2nd, 2019. What a beautiful day for sailing. Dan Roeder over there in the Wayfarer Truant. Craig in the Lightning hanging out back here. The wind started off a little gusty, but it since laid down. I would guess they're, I don't know, five to six knots ish right now under full sail heading towards the dome houses of Cape Romano. Hopefully the weather keeps up like this. Here are the Cape Romano dome houses. Pretty cool, I've never seen them before. Just hanging out in the center cockpit of the boat. The wind died on me while I was by the dome houses and it has slowly come back and it's just steady now to where I can just sit here and relax. And there, I don't know if you can see, but somewhere up there is Dan and Craig. We are on our way to Panther Key now. It's kind of nice just sitting in the middle here, not steering or tending sails or anything because the wind's just consistent. Good times. Day two, 10,000 Islands. Everybody wanted to stay at Camp Key to meet some new arrivals. I wanted to explore. So I'm on my way solo to Pavilion Key. I'm not sure if I'm going to make it, but all indications look good. I'm having to close all the entire way. Had to beat a little bit, but uh, going all right now. Fairly good progress. Well, pretty good day for sailing. Day three, 10,000 Islands trip 2019. In the mangrove by Joe Hemp Key. Spent the night at Pavilion. It was a great night. First the bugs were terrible, then the wind shifted and took care of that. So now I'm gonna see what's in the 10,000 islands. Back in the depths, hopefully. Shallow water sailing at its best. And continuation of day two video. Looks like I may end up in a little bit of trouble back here. That's a bird standing up ahead. And here we have debris. My boards are most of the way up. And we're just gonna keep going and see if I can find enough water to keep going through stirring up fish and all kinds of stuff. I can't see the water depth, but I would guess 10 inches, something like that. We shall see. Wish me luck. And now I'm stuck. Here's an indication of the water depth. You can see how far down my boards are to hold me in place. Hardly down at all. Which I kind of figured this. That's why you do these things. I think I'm at point, negative point four on an incoming tide of like three and a half positive feet. So the water will be four feet deeper here in, you know, 10 hours or something. So all I need is a few inches. So I just looked at the tide chart, maybe a half an hour of sitting here and I should be able to continue on. That'll give me four or five more inches and plenty enough to try and make it I don't know if I'm going to go through this cut or this cut up here. The chart shows this one having a touch deeper water, but it looks real skinny to get there. So we'll see. But uh, this is this is why I do this, to come and explore these areas. Sometimes it costs you a little bit of time just sitting here. I saw some dolphins earlier chasing 
fish throwing water five feet in the air swimming along. I can see their fin. I doubt it'll come out on the video. Let's see. You can see the fin above the water. Almost looks like a shark because the water's so shallow. Good times. Luckily, it's not too hot. Back sailing again. If we can call it that. I set the lee boards just deeper than the hull itself draws to where whenever I get in water that's super shallow, the lee boards just stop the boat right before the bottom hits. And then as the tide comes up, picks the boards up and off we go again. So that way I can sail as soon as possible. The rudder is still mostly up because we're still pretty shallow, but we're moving. So happy days. Kingston key there. I'm gonna duck in behind it and sneak around the back side and then head out again through Indian Key Pass. Take a break from these seas. Give him my arm a workout on the tiller. It never comes out good in the video. But it's big enough that I'm having to correct on just about every wave, you know the drill. <laughs> 